Hey, hello everyone. Namaste. Welcome to Astral Luck. Let's get started with annual reading for Gemini. So I did a, a global perspective annual reading. I request you to please watch that because it gives you a lot of insights about what to expect on a global level. Uh, and I did in a very detailed way. Uh, here in this, I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm going to do the only the second half of what I have done in the global perspective. But if you order a personal reading for yourself, I'll do the both the parts that I've done in the global perspective. Another reason why you should watch the global perspective to understand what is being offered. Just to save on time, I'm not doing it completely uh, the way I did the global perspective for all the signs because it is difficult for me to manage time right now. So let's get started with your reading. So I've shuffled the cards and let me divide them into parts or the, cut the deck. So I'm going to directly start for monthly readings for you guys, but in the uh, general reading, that I've done for the global perspective, or if you order a personal annual reading, I'm going to do uh, a Celtic cross with 20 cards first to understand where uh, the entire year is taking you and then do the monthly reading. So let's get started with January. So what do we have in January? We have house, we have clouds, And then we have Rider. So clearly it says that somewhere around the place where you live or where your roots are, there's some confusion around that. And there is a lot of misunderstanding going on. Either it is because of a communication that has come from outside. Somebody has sent a message to create that confusion or this rider can be bringing the solution depending on uh, what's going on in your personal life. I cannot get into that specific detail here because I don't have the details of everyone. I'm doing a general reading for Germany. So I feel either a communication has come from outside to create trouble or there's existing trouble and there is someone coming from outside, some message to clarify it and remove that uh, problem. From the tarot, we have guardian of emotions. We have five of abundance and eight of abundance. So what I see here is that the confusion is around material things. Somebody somewhere has promised with, in your environment, in the place where you live, in your home or in your families, has promised some kind of financial uh, pro note to someone and that is creating confusion. Either this uh, financial promise that somebody is claiming is fake or if it is true, then uh, somebody doesn't want to honor or, and somebody, it may be the other way around. Somebody has promised you something and they are not keeping it or they are not honoring it. So it is someone who is right now quite emotionally mature person, but then uh, you trusted them because of their emotional maturity and then you thought that things will never get to this kind of situation where there is chaos, there is confusion. But then I feel that there is a certain kind of confusion created because of some external factor. You should go ahead and directly talk to this mature person because we have eight of abundance again, which is saying that you can work upon whatever financial issues are, whatever material issues are, you can work upon them. There's nothing that is not uh, achievable, what this card is telling me here. So I somehow feel that 
there is a confusion created by a third party in January and you have to go and talk to the mature person directly because you somehow thought that this will never happen because the other person is quite mature, which is true. And the confusion is getting created from someone else, not this person. So that's for January. Let's see what we have for February. February, we have sight, we have cross, and then we have dog. Okay. There would be situations where you, your faith on your friends will get tested and you will lose your faith on a certain friendship on a certain someone whom you trusted possibly the one who created confusion last month in january you will lose your faith on that person and it's possibly looking like it would be a very tough decision for you to move on uh, and uh, to be more independent of this person because you really thought this person to be your friend then we have six of swords moving away from someone and then uh, helper of emotions it's talking about relationships and falling in love and but then you are moving away from that this friendship this friend because somewhere you trusted on this friend a lot you relied on this friend a lot but now you feel that it's time for you to move on and then we have healer of abundance where you are finding someone else who can make a difference for you and who can innovate and help you to deal with this problematic situation created by a friend in your environment somebody who is very close almost like family who has created this trouble and you don't know how to handle it and now you feel that you need to move on and you find someone else who is actually quite innovative and is willing to help you right now in the month of February, which is great. So you now know the reality of a person. That's what it looks like in February. Now let's see what do we have in March. We have Sun, which is good news. Book and clover this is a very uh, lucky set of cards it's almost like the sun is shining upon you bringing hidden knowledge which you probably didn't know in the past which is opening up new opportunities new doors new luck for you it is great which is something that you need to celebrate which is something that you need to enjoy and the best thing is that now you are seeing things clearly because uh, you have let go of some kind of attachment which was pulling you down. You have let go of that, which is great. And then we have Nine of Swords, which is more of sleepless night kind of situation. Uh, seven of Emotions, looking at future possibilities. And Healer of Action which is uh, Knight of Wands. I feel that uh, whatever you want right now, whatever you set your mind upon, you will find answers for that because the sun is shining in your favor and you are getting all the knowledge to accomplish whatever you wanted, something that you lacked in the past. Now you have that. And then the clover itself is telling me that the luck is also favoring you. But then it's like uh, in the past few months, uh, January and February, I, I feel that it was quite tensed for you and you really had sleepless nights. You somehow felt that things are going beyond your control and you cannot handle it and you were quite confused about future options in your mind and you had thought of all the possibilities that this is the best that I can do right now this is the lowest I can do right now but uh, you have thought of everything and you possibly also tried to 
test your water somewhere and then you have found thankfully when the sun is shining now you have found some a uh, good opportunity uh, and you have picked up the best one among a spectrum of things that you have imagined and you are working towards a good opportunity or a, a nice achievable goal which is quite healthy which is quite fruitful so let's see what we have in april we have mountain we have garden and then we have stock okay it looks like that you know what are the obstacles in your life in april you know what uh, what is stopping you what is uh, not allowing you to move forward in life and you are looking to discuss that in openly with others to bring in a big change you are quite open minded thankfully to the sun in the previous month i see that you are more aware of the obstacles in your life and you are very much in the favor that i need to go ahead and discuss this openly i, I cannot uh i cannot find the answers behind the doors i or in my privacy i need to go out in public see how people have dealt with such problems in the past and find the solution and change things for myself for good and then what do the tarot say a happy change you are bringing a good transformation for your life and this transformation is very happy and prosperous that is wonderful and then review and contemplation i feel that uh, there's a lot of judgment going on for you right now in your own mind and at also at the divine level at the karmic level it seems like what started in the beginning of the year is still going on somewhere in the back end and it's not over yet you possibly will have to deal with it in some time in near future and then we have six of abundance which is six of pentacles so right now you are willing to give a lot of things to others but then you also uh, expect that you should get something in return or possibly the transformation here is that you have given enough to others as long as they don't give you something in return you don't want to go forward with them you are taking a stance right now you are setting boundaries which is also good i see that transformation is coming and it's coming uh really for your best so that is for march i suppose yeah no we have finished march now we have finished april also we are moving to may we have key we have lilies long term success now you have the solution to long term success and emotional satisfaction this is another sequence of cards which has come in a very beautiful way march was something like that when the sun showed up and now uh, may is again another month which would be very lucky for you very uh, prosperous because now you have answers for long term success which will bring a lot of emotional satisfaction for you and if you are looking for some kind of romantic relationship with someone again this is the month where in may you will find answers for a long term success in that relationship seven of thoughts seven of swords here which is like a confused situation and then we have 10 of actions uh 
taking a lot of burden. I think this is coming from April where you know what are the burdens or what are the obstacles that you have been carrying in on your shoulders uh, and right now you are confused how to deal with that in the beginning of May and you are still carrying that burden in May only to understand that this burden is not going to go away very quickly but then you can deal with that burden on a part-time basis and start building something for yourself simultaneously because you have already found the key for long-term success. So what the cards are telling to me that in May you will realize that the past is there. You cannot change it and it has brought certain energy to your present which you have to slowly and steadily dispose it back to the universe. You cannot do it immediately because there are a lot of karmic things that have to evolve, that have to uh, be dealt with. But then on an emotional and a mental mindset, you have decided past is past and it belongs in past. You don't want to carry it forward. You are willing to finish the karmic connection slowly and steadily in the present and taking forward little by little in f future so that you can dissolve it completely and one day get rid of it and simultaneously you start a new thing in your life which brings a lot of success and emotional satisfaction and it keeps growing for you over a period of time in next 20 years. The reason why I'm saying 20 years is that just now we have gone through this new conjunction in Aquarius of Saturn and uh, Jupiter which brings a new phase in each one of our lives for next 20 years setting up new agenda. So that is something that will open up for you in the month of May and will continue to stay here for next 20 years uh, at least at by 2030 it will be at the peak of it and slowly it will fizzle out by 2040 to start something new again in your life in 2040 so it is something like that so slowly you will uh, see the change coming in your life and incrementally growing at least for next 10 to 15 years and then slowly changing for a new big change after 2040 which is long term So we have finished May. Let's see what we have in June. We have stars. We have rat or mice. And then we have ship. Okay, this is interesting. What I see here is that there is some kind of movement or journey which is planned for you because of the stars and the heavens and it was something that was uh, supposed to happen for you but I don't think it will not happen it will happen but there would be a certain thing which will uh, try to obstruct it but it would not be a major thing it will try very hard but then you will eventually find the solution because mice is not as powerful as the stars or the planets in the heaven and the uh, planetary motions that is more of a pre-planned destined thing for you to travel somewhere and meet someone so i feel that yeah there's someone here on your environment on the earth uh, who is quite jealous of your plans and who would try to destroy your plans Definitely, but they can only try. They they cannot <laughs> enforce their free will on the planets. That's what I feel. So we have organization, which is that you are quite shrewd and practical about things right now. You don't care about what others feel about you and how much they are jealous about your situation and how much they want to destroy your success you don't care about it you are quite practical and you will let them go if they create more problems for you 
and then three of actions which is more like you are waiting for some indication from the universe to move forward because you are all prepared right now on the practical level you are prepared to move forward to make that leap of faith if somebody is trying to pull you down you don't care about them and then we have embraced those around you so you for uh, this is the hierophant card uh, which is something that you are willing to take things on a deeper level you are willing to learn things about deeper level but you are not willing to take uh, things like of this kind someone who's being jealous to you you don't want to get into that but you want to take things forward i i think that you are accepting something in abroad you are trying to move forward in abroad and you are getting that uh acceptance from the uh, abroad this is also the card of acceptance so i feel that something is going around in foreign lands beyond the boundaries of your habitat maybe in another city if not uh a different country but it's going away from your place where you live and you are finding something which is more appropriate for you and you are willing to take that acceptance although the acceptance has not come to you yet but it's on the stars it will come in the following months it won't come in june that's what the cards are also telling me but then uh, this uh, person someone here quite aware of your plans wants to destroy things even just before the success reaches you so be careful about telling everything to everyone don't you don't have to tell everything to everyone so that was june now july i hope i'm keeping track of the right months but you know where are we right now so we have fish we have tower we have snake so good money coming to you for long term but then again someone is trying to cheat you be careful about that then we have letting go which is the card of transformation choose freedom and helper of thought which is knight of sword so you have to be very quick around this time of the year where there's a lot of opportunities coming up for you which are long term opportunities trust me these are very big opportunities for long term but then there's somebody playing with your mind because this this is a big change for you this card is telling here this is the card of transformation with here which is telling me that the change is quite big for you but then somebody is, tr is trying to uh, pull it down somebody is trying to say that this is not the biggest thing that you can achieve and they are trying to push you in your comfort zone although this new change will come with its own uh, expectations you will have to step up your game and you need to act a little more wiser you need to put in a little more hard work you will need to uh, take more responsibilities which would be little bit beyond your comfort zone and then this vicious person here who is trying to betray you is trying to push you into your comfort zone so that you don't take up this opportunity and you stay where you are which is not good and you need to take very quick action right now so that you don't fall in the trap of this person December, November, October, September. Yeah. 
So August, right now we are in August. Sorry, when I'm downloading the message, the moment I see the card, I forgot the month where we are in. So we are in August right now. We have man, we have flowers, we have bear. So it looks like you have taken a new opportunity. The flowers is representing a new opportunity. You have escaped the trap of that snake. It looks like that. You have a boss. A, a caretaker, a f man who is willing to uh, be your boss, caretaker and uh, willing to provide for all the things that you need right now. There's a man and this per man is also taking things in a different perspective. Possibly there's a change in gender from if it's work related of th things like Previously, you had a female boss. Now you have a male boss, something like that. And this person is quite uh, good in the person of taking care of their responsibilities. But then they have a very uh, fixed set of expectations and they want to control that outcome. Uh, they, This person has trouble in giving you all the freedom, but then... Uh, Still, this flowers here is telling that this is a good start. Although you see that you don't have enough freedom, but then you still are quite happy because this setup is quite suiting you right now. We have 10 of emotions, 10 of cups, which is also confirming that the setup is something that you'll enjoy for long term because... Somebody else is taking all the responsibility but sharing all the credit with you. All the success is shared equally but then the responsibility is taken by this person who is your boss right now or who is taking the charge of the situation. Then we have nine of abundance. It won't be that bad in long term. It will uh, In long term this person will set you free to follow your own path. They just want to Put you on the right track so that you taste certain success and then move forward in life. And then we have messenger of thought which is uh, more like that you will get a lot of opportunities which will excite you. But there would be too many opportunities. You will have to be careful in making decision because after your initial first success which this person will take complete charge and will share the success equally with you will leave you free to decide what you want to do in future and that's when it's your test if you can take good decisions or not so it will happen very quickly in the month of august so you need to be careful uh, to take the right decisions because this person is uh, giving you the opportunity to take care of things on a grand level. Now, September, we have whip, we have birds, and we have fox. Okay, this is a tough combination of cards. What I would say is that uh, somewhere you yourself are losing confidence that the decisions that you took in the past month will bring back misery in your life. And you are trying to discuss it with people and people would take this confusion for their advantage. So be careful how much you are disclosing to others about your own self-thought misery. It is not that things will come in the same way, exactly the same way or in the worst way as you imagined. It's your imagination. So don't disclose your imagination, uh, the worst imagination to others. Then we have messenger of abundance. We, There is someone who is bringing opportunities for you. There are more opportunities coming for you and they are good opportunities, not bad opportunities. So if you keep telling others that you are expecting some bad outcomes, then this new opportunity may not even come because somebody is taking opportunity of that and making bad uh, 
reputation for you behind the scenes. So be careful. Then we have eight of action. Something that I was telling you that don't uh, talk about yourself because you will impose restrictions on yourself which are not required because you will start creating a negative image for yourself. So be careful of what you are communicating to others. And then there's two of actions. You will be confused at the end of the month in September that, yeah, this is September, uh, that where do you want to go? Because this previous month was month of opportunities. This month also there are new opportunities coming even more. And you need to make a lot of decisions right now. And you will be confused whether you are capable of taking decisions or not. And trust me, you will have to find an answer. Let's see what we have in the next month. Maybe we find an answer there. But if we don't find an answer there, I would like to conclude it here that uh, you will have to force yourself to take uh, a decision. So if we don't eventually find answers in the next one or two months, then this was the decision that you possibly had to make a decision right now. But let's see. What do we have in October? We have child, we have tree. And, okay, I think the decision will come here. You will make the decision and you will make start a new project, new opportunity will come and this opportunity is uh, well understood you have done everything to understand this opportunity and to choose this one and then you get some information about it and this opportunity will help you to grow as we saw that there is a lot of positive growth movement for you in uh, future but then there was a testing phase also in between but then October will clarify a lot of things for you. We have 10 of abundance. Yeah, there is a lot of opportunity. And August and September, whoever that male figure is, who is acting almost like a boss and taking decisions for you, I think you need to trust that person. That person is definitely a trustable person in your life. And then we have be open to success. Keep moving forward. Don't worry about things. There's a lot of abundance coming on your way in October. And then we have nine of actions. That's when uh, this time you are quite certain that, okay, I have found my place. I know how to deal with this and I know where my boundaries are. And I will not allow others to cross this boundary and neither I will uh, break this boundary or make exceptions for anyone special because this boundary is very sacred to me that would be your attitude so i think that you will learn your lesson by february uh, october and then uh, we have november we have moon we have crossroads and we have ring so, a lot of things come into public light and then you will have to make some decision about a certain kind of contract. Till now, whatever was happening was happening between you and certain person, you and few other people. You never op brought this openly. You did not declare anything in public now it's the time for you to declare things in public and decide where you want to stay and take things forward and you need to tell it to everyone you possibly uh, made a movement in your life few months back you started living in with someone if it's a relationship and you did not inform your parents you did not inform uh, your friends but now is the time for you to go in public and tell them and you are at crossroads should i do this should i just let them know at the right time and 
because the reason why I'm bringing this out here in a little elaborated way is that this crossroad will uh, be a very uh, how it it would be problematic if you ha don't deal with this op uh, the options here correctly the the options would be somewhere like you possibly lived in with uh, someone for a few months few years and now you want to get married but then you don't want to tell the rest of the world that you are marrying each other but if you don't inform others it might create some kind of problem you have options to just do it everything very secretively and let people know when they get to know on their own let's see what the tarot has to reveal maybe we'll have more clarification ace of actions seeing clearly and go within okay here also it's coming in a very cryptic way that you know that if you take one option and you and if you don't take the other what are the consequences you know it very well and you have learned uh, this with lot of experience in life lot of delays in life and that's the reason why you are not uh, going very quickly into telling others because people have been destroying things for you and now you will come with a special version of truth which is not completely true which is not completely false it would be more of somewhere in between only you know the hidden truth but then uh, you will also tell them others a different version of it which is not true which is not false nobody can blame you later which is good which is quite strategic so that is good moving on to december we have coffin we have lady we have anchor so end of something with a lady and it doesn't mean that uh if you are a man and this is your wife things are going to end with her and it it's permanent it's not like that but it's end of certain kind of thing let me pull out a clarifier but first let me pull out the cards for this month we have four of emotions three of thoughts and we have ace of abundance so there is an opportunity which you don't take that opportunity and it destroys your heart so end of something in terms of emotional opportunity and but it's bringing you new success in life which is going to stay permanent okay now i see it there is someone in your environment who was almost like a free rider just uh, wanted to be there and take things from you never to give you anything suddenly this person is leaving for good opening up new opportunities for you for long term and uh, these opportunities will stay here for very long not for just one or two months or something like that will stay for at least the 20 year cycle that i just spoke at. it will stay for 20 years minimum and if you are smart and you can retain it beyond 20 years then definitely it will stay beyond that so this is your reading gemini please let me know how you felt about this and please uh, keep looking back to this video again and again and give me updates how things turned out for you i'll be very curious and eager to know that thank you so much until next time bye bye namaste see you soon